Hey, hello guys. So guys, today I am going to show you Microsoft Access and uh, this is very useful software and uh, we use for the database. Uh, for example, if your parents make a list before they go to the grocery shopping. So grocery lists are a very simple example of the structure information. The term structure means organized and arranged in a specific way. Like your parents say, we need this, this item, this item, this item. For this, uh, we need this quantity, this quantity, and this quantity. And the price will be uh, for each item, this one, this one, this one. So uh, you will go to the market and uh, you will buy this, these things. Okay. So for the, uh, for the example, we will create the database about uh, the list of grocery. So let's start. First, you will click on uh, access. You can find access uh, here when you click on the start button. If you don't find, so you can write here access and it will show you this Microsoft Excel. It will be the first screen. Here you will find different option, but uh, we will do step by step. I cannot complete in one video because it will be too long. So uh, I will finish this in different videos. So first we start from blank database. You will click on blank database. And here you will write your the name of the database. For example, I say grocery. Okay, uh, you can save this wherever you want. Suppose in Access, uh, we'll make one folder for Access and here I save it. Then click on Create. Once you click on Create, you will find this screen and automatically one table will generate. But until now, this is just showing it's not safe. So what you have to do, you have to design first the titles. Means like uh, you need suppose the product name the uh, the price the quantity okay so like this you have you have to create so what we have to do you have two ways you can right click on it and design view or you can click on tab field table fields and in view you will find the design view once you click on it so you will find uh, this window you can save this because in access we don't save after the finish we save in the beginning so suppose uh, I leave it as it is you can uh, write anything grocery or the home appliance or whatever okay so suppose uh, I make it table one and okay so once I finish this so I will find this screen and this is the screen where you will make the fields you will write the fields and in that field under that fields we will put our data so now uh, we start you are creating the database so you should know about which for which purpose you have to make the database means like we are making for the grocery or Suppose uh, you are making the database about your class, about your school. So it's depend. So that type of field we will choose. Suppose like now we are making the database about the grocery. So we take the field, first field product. Product, no sorry. Or we leave as a product okay there is one thing important important um, you should know which type of field is this I mean suppose if you are making the database about your class so name it should be means name can be uh, Fahad name can be Nizar means it will be in the text okay so once we write the the field so we should know which type of field is this okay so if you you want to create the the database 
any database you are uh, doing so you need some unique key or one unique key or we call primary key means it will be unique like if uh, you are using uh, some id in your class your roll number so it's unique they cannot give the same roll number to another one so like this in the in every database there will be the unique key suppose product id so suppose i make product id and uh, product id it should be auto number you can choose from here means id will be the unique so you can make it number if you say number so you have to write in the database if you take uh, auto number so it will come automatically okay i take auto number it's better if you write without space okay so the next one we come on quantity or product name e name e name it should be text because it can be x it can be um, bread or like this so it will be in the text so you have to select text product product id it will be in number it means you means uh, you want short text or long text it's on you suppose i take long text here i take quantity it will be number two three four or whatever so i take number after that price price it will also be on in number it's also i select number okay that's it that one i created and now i want to put the database this these are the uh, fields only we choose it you can see in the product id is unique and you can see here in product id there is a key here this one so that's mean this is the primary key this is the unique key okay now i want to enter the database in this field i close this do you want to save yes now in the table you can see now here product id product name quantity price okay so you let's start because product id was auto number so it will come uh, automatically here i say x this one is i give in text that's why i am writing in text if i write in number so it will give you error because i give the text here okay so it should be then i will press enter you can see now suppose quantity 4 price 8 okay so whatever you are giving in text you have to write in text you can see this product id when i enter it's come automatically now i am number 2 i write uh, bread okay here i say 5 and price was 6 like this we can put the database um, different items and uh, like this we can create our database so in the other um, classes i will tell you how we can sort how we can use this database with different software or how can we make the queries how we can work in microsoft access with this database so uh, today we stop till here and in the next class in part two i will explain you some um, new things in microsoft access thank you for watching take care